Hey guys, it's Bub here. Last year in May of 2022, we took a look at Windows 8.1 Lite OS, which was created by the same people who created Windows 10 and Windows 11 Lite OS. In this video, we're taking a look at another Windows 8.1 Lite edition that I found on archive.org. Archive.org is actually full of crazy custom ISOs that I think are really interesting and deserve some attention. So this is, as you can tell by the title, Windows 8.1 Pro Lite. And what we're going to do today is we're going to boot into this and install it and just see what this OS is all about, what is included, what's not, and just do a general overview. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of ISOs on archive.org that have probably never really been reviewed on YouTube. I'm not really sure if this one has or not, but I think that taking a look at them is definitely something that should be done. I think that there's a lot of interesting stuff on there. So right out of the box, it doesn't say, would you like to install Windows? It just takes us straight into the installer. So that's it. It was just a few clicks and now we're installing Windows. And here we are inside of the out of box experience, which I'm assuming is gonna be the typical Windows 8.1 installation sort of setup. Um, I feel like we just skipped the step though, going straight into account setup. Um, can we, I believe this is how you create a, yep, yeah, there we go, local account, we're just going to call this light, and either Windows 8.1 setup was really debloated and ha didn't have that much in it, or, like, this is, this was taken out, because we're already, we already have a taskbar, and by default, it looks like start is back is installed, I'm just going to leave it as the default settings here, um, because it, I remember seeing in the screenshot that it did have start is all start is back, which in my opinion, if you're trying to create a light OS, I wouldn't include any additional software, but that's just my opinion. I know that a lot of people did like they required start is back or some sort of classic shell or something because they hated the new windows start menu so much like the, the full screen one. I was actually a relatively big fan of the new start menu, the new start screen. So I guess we're just going to sit here and wait for this to actually, you know, finish going through finalizing our settings. All right, and here we are in the setup experience. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that because we already took a look at that. Um, all right, first thing is first, our calendar is set to a different language. I'm not even going to try to figure out what one that is. The Windows 10 background is applied. Um, for some reason, it looks like there are Windows 11 icons. Yes, these are the Windows 11 icons. I truly did not believe that this was updated for 2023. Well, I guess this was 2021, so yeah, it would have had the new icons. That was my mistake. Um, okay. Um, we also have the control panel on our desktop by default, as well as Chrome Setup and Driver Booster Pro. Um, okay. Both in... What I would assume to be the foreign language, but we are not going to install Driver Booster Pro. Um, by default, we are using 56.2 of 56.9 gigabytes. And as for RAM usage, we are currently using 400 megabytes, 431 megabytes. Now, Windows 8.1 is already extremely optimized as it was designed to run on those lower end tablet PCs. So, is this actually an improvement from? Windows 8.1 OEM. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've taken a look at it. One thing that I do want to do that I just remembered um, now that we've taken a look at the RAM usage, let's install VMware Tools and then we'll take a look at what is actually installed on this OS and isn't just included as an EXE on the desktop. All right, and now that VMware Tools is installed, we have that gorgeous 1440p full screen display which honestly I think Windows 8.1 looks really good in. So now that we've already taken a look at the desktop, I suppose it is time to take a look at what's installed on the start menu that was installed. So all we have is Internet Explorer, uh, Administrative Tools, which is all your basic stuff, as well as nothing in maintenance, Start Apps, which include your PC settings as well as your store which I believe if I remember Windows 8.1 yep it got taken offline we also have start up nothing Windows accessories we have very minimal accessories which is something I do like to see I mean I feel like these are the basics um, including paint which is definitely necessary 
We also lastly have Windows System, which is minimal. The one thing that I see present throughout the OS is like the new Windows icons, like the Windows 11 icons, which is definitely weird, something I never expected to see. Windows 8.1 with like Windows 11 modernized icons, like all of these come straight from Windows 11. But then you have like the Windows 7 file explorer icon. It is definitely weird and this is not at all what I would consider a lightweight operating system, even if it is running at 400 megabytes of RAM, which now we're at 853 megs. Yeah, this is more of a customized version, even though it is technically lightweight, I would call this more customized because to me, a light OS is Windows 8.1 just stripped down, not including any extra customizations like the new icons or like start is back or driver booster on your desktop. What I would consider a light OS is literally just Windows 8 stripped down to the bare necessities and that's it. To me, this is more of a customized version. Nonetheless, it is an interesting version, something that I never thought I'd get to take a look at. Um, like I said, there's a lot of interesting stuff on archive.org that I would highly recommend looking at if you get the time, if you get the chance, which I do get a lot of ISOs from archive.org because I think they're interesting. So as for manufacturer, it does say by Ukdo, U-K-D-O. Um, I'm actually not sure. I've never heard that name. Okay, so I looked it up, and it is in a totally different language. So I suppose we are not going to look at that today. So with that being said, this was just a basic overview of Windows 8.1 Pro Lite. Like I said, probably not a light version, but it is interesting. To um, one thing I am noticing here is that there's no sound. Like, if I were to click on that stuff, I'm not hearing anything. And as for sounds, let's see if we can play anything. So it looks like they've actually deleted all the sounds. So you're not going to hear anything unless you play it from, like, a web browser. Okay. So with that being said, on that interesting note, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, see you all in the next one.